What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. This is part two of the Monster Tool Cart build. Uh, basically I'm just going to build this thing. I'm going to try to do a time lapse and see how that goes and edit that in. I'm going to try a little, little teeny tiny bit of editing on this one. Um, and then build it, roll it around, give my first impression, make sure it's not all dented up or all twisted like it very well could be. And um, that's it. I'm going to build the thing, first impression, and uh, let's see how that goes. So uh, let's get in right into the time lapse. All right, here we go. Okay, well at some point this thing shut off. But look at this shit. What? They put the nuts. Come on, you f there we go. They put the nuts so damn close together, I'm stuck with quarter turns of a wrench. This is not how I wanted to be building this thing. Okay, back to the time lapse. Alright, back to the grind. <laughs> Okay, well, this is pretty much it. Um, <laughs> this thing sucks. This thing sucks to build. Um, I screwed something up. Obviously, I didn't read the directions that good. Um, not a big fan of directions. I didn't think it was possible to screw it up, but it is. So, on this side, right down in here, you can't even see that. I think it's a better leg. Here we go. Here are the holes for your long screwdrivers, pry bars, and everything. And then down here, there are corresponding holes that line up with those down in there. Um, I didn't think it was possible, but um, this one mounted this rail here. This rail right here mounted just fine. There we go. This one mounted just fine um, because I had these rails oriented correctly there's one fastener there's another down there but this one I screwed up that one this hole should be oh, oh almost fell over this hole should be on this side so I'm just gonna drill out new holes I'm not a big fan of these fasteners these uh, these guys if you can this thing I'll freaking focus here we go the you know square shank at the bottom you get the point the square shank right there um, and they just don't really work that good 
Uh, some of these holes for this shelf adjustment here, these holes are uh, dimpled in right here. See, they're dimpled in a little bit, and this, that square shank, did not want to catch the part of the, the, the bolt, didn't want to catch the square hole. So, I don't know. Building it, not too bad. It is kind of, uh, it is pretty sturdy. Where the hell is the focus? Come on. Manual? Let's zoom. What the fuck? Whatever. Here, we got your drawer. That's our handle. Everything's out of focus. There we go. I'll just manually focus it. It doesn't. There we go. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna probably put the wheels on it because I don't know when exactly I'm gonna get started on uh, you know the welding, but somehow I'm gonna attach those big ass casters to the bottom of it. All in all, it's built pretty solid. The metal's pretty thick. I'm not too unhappy with it. The whole fastening system kind of pissed me off, but uh, you know, it's not a bad cart. It's not showing up for shit in the, in the shed because it's all black, but uh, that's it. That is the uh, that is the U.S. General 26-inch uh, tool cart with no wheels yet. So, <laughs> and look, I used uh, used the uh, Ingersoll Rand electric ratchet. This thing's pretty cool. Works pretty good. It, like it torque stalls by itself. So you can't over tighten things or it doesn't try to burn up the motor. Oh my god, I gotta I gotta figure this freaking camera out. There we go. Alright, so that's it. That's uh hopefully this went well. I'm gonna build the rest of this and uh come back to you.